Hello everyone and welcome to Fixing Tiny Tedious Things. In this video, I'll be talking about FTP accounts, how to create an FTP account using cPanel. So log into your cPanel first. I use GoDaddy and I have already logged into my account. So once you log in, this is the dashboard, cPanel dashboard. This is the updated one. So you need to go to FTP accounts, which should be right here somewhere. So it's over here. Let's click on FTP accounts. And this is where you create the new account which you want to create okay for this tutorial i'm going to create a test account so this is going to be test and the domain name is going to be choose from the list of domains you have or if you have only one domain it will be the default one so i'm going to select the one which i'm going to use and use a password which is secure and you can easily remember i'm going to use the one that i already use and easily remember okay now after setting the password you need to give it, give this directory the root access or uh, access to a particular folder but for this test i'm going to use the root only i'm not giving it any special directory and give the quota i'm going to use unlimited for now and now hit create ftp account so this has created the ftp account by the name test okay here is the list of all the ftp accounts i am using at the moment and the one which we have just created is right here at the bottom okay so now at this point i want you to grab a notepad and note the settings for your newly created FTP account just copy these settings I already have that in my list and I already remember them so I don't need to copy so after creating an account you need an FTP client application where you can run FTP accounts okay so for that I recommend FileZilla I already have that downloaded you can see that pinned to my taskbar so let's open that So the newly created FTP account will go here inside the host I need to put the either the dedicated IP I got from GoDaddy or the main primary domain I am using I'm going to put the IP address because that is the best way because I keep on changing my primary domain which kind of messes up all the things so the best way to go about it just go ahead with the dedicated IP which is provided by the host to you so this is my dedicated IP address I have blurred, blurred it for obvious reasons as you know so let's put that inside host the next thing is username our username was test at the rate the domain name you selected now the password and port hit quick connect all right as you can see i have successfully connected to my account this is the directory and the website for which i have created this account is let me show you i'll upload one test file just to show you that i have successfully created this account and it is pretty much working so this is the account i'm going to create a test page here it's going to be like this test dot html right now it is showing nothing but let me create one account and upload here grab notepad do some coding let me put it in h1 so that you can see it clearly just a basic page for testing purposes and let's name this to test dot html okay 
now through FTP I'll be uploading this to my root here which we have connected through FTP so let's do that it is saved on desktop it should be here somewhere we gotta refresh it here so let's put it okay it says successful transfers so let's go ahead and reload this page now all right so here it is okay so we have already we have created the ftp account showed you how to upload a file so this works perfectly fine let me know in comments if you have any questions regarding this one because i'm going to create a new tutorial which is going to be about fixing wordpress problems there uh, there are some errors that we come across on wordpress and i'll be covering those in that tutorial all right thank you for watching